Hey guys, what's going on? Happy Tuesday evening to you. I hope you had a good day at work today or whatever it is you did today. I hope it was a good one. I had an awesome day. All right, guys, let's get into tonight's menu. Tonight we will have homemade chili cheese dogs with all the trimmings, homemade chili. I'm gonna show you how I make it. Quick and easy, about 30 minute process. And then almost Chicago style hot dogs. I say almost because I could not find any poppy seed buns. You gotta have poppy seed buns to have a true Chicago style hot dog, okay? And finally, we will have our famous homemade uptown seasoned fries. All right, guys? So without further ado, let's start the cooking after this intro. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am back with another video. All right guys, so here are the ingredients for the chili, okay? And I'm also adding some ingredients that the recipe did not call for. So we're gonna start out with a pound of lean ground beef. I already have one large onion chopped up. Six ounces of uh, tomato paste. You can use whatever brand you want half a cup of ketchup back there. Uh, let's see, we have two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, uh, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar back there. Um, what else? We're gonna use a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Here it is right here. Half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Let's see here, a half a teaspoon of paprika, um, one teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. I have all of that back here. Um, what else? And a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And finally, two cups of chicken broth. Okay, I'm going to get all of this in the skillet. I'm gonna let these onions cook for about three to five minutes first. Let them become uh, a little translucent. Then I'll add everything else together and I will show you guys that once I get it in the pot, okay? See you in a minute. Okay guys, so I have the ground beef and the onions, garlic, and bell pepper cooking together. I forgot to mention that I also added three cloves of garlic and a half of uh, bell pepper chopped up. The recipe didn't call for it, but to me, you need that in your chili. So I'm going to let this meat get nice and brown. Okay guys, I pretty much added all of the dry ingredients, bell pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, all of that good stuff. Now I'm going to add my Worcestershire sauce. Is the half a cup of the six ounces of your tomato paste, two cups of chicken broth, and our apple cider vinegar. All right, we're going to let this cook down for about 30 minutes until it's nice and thick. I want to just kick it up a little bit. All right, guys, I'll bring you guys back once this is completely done. Okay guys, the chili is just about done. It's nice and thick, a pretty color. I'm gonna get ready to cut this off, to get our fries ready so we can get ready to eat. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you, we're gonna use uh, all beef bun size hot dogs. <laughs> And then we're gonna use these sweet, sweet Hawaiian buns because I couldn't find the poppy seed. I'm gonna use these peppers for the Chicago style hot dog. And then I have my fries here, seasoned with everything I normally put on them. Black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, parsley, saison, a little steak seasoning. So I'm just going to get these all mixed up real good. I have the grease here in the uh, deep fryer warming up some fresh grease. I'm gonna fry these up. And when I come back, we'll be ready to put these hot dogs together. Sit down and eat, okay guys? See you in a minute. What's up everybody? The food is done. Almost Chicago style hot dogs and just a regular good old American chili cheese dog with coleslaw and onions and all of the trimmings. Okay, let's bless the food. Bless this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Amen. All right, guys. We also have the famous Uptown Season French Fries or JoJo's. Don't they look good? And look at this right here. Chicago style right here. 
And then your chili cheese dog with homemade chili. You guys saw how I made it. Tastes good too. Okay, we have some sort of like banana peppers, regular ketchup, and this is the spicy sriracha ketchup. And I have a beverage. And the Chicago style hot dog was topped with some celery salt. And I have uh, tomatoes on it, onions, uh, mustard, pickle relish, and a dill pickle, dill pickle spear. <laughs> Say that three times. And it's all beef hot dogs, okay? All right, and this one, the American, I, I call it the all-American chili cheese dog. I bought some um, coleslaw from KFC. I love their coleslaw. So it has the homemade chili, the uh, some, some cheese, uh, sharp cheddar cheese, and the um, coleslaw, and some onions. Okay, and then of course we have our fries. Let's start with this. I just love when they're seasoned, they are so good. Mm. And crunchy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What is going on, guys? It is nice in Philly Fields Kitchen today. We hit 200 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. If this is your first time to my channel, hey, come on. Like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Like this video, leave a comment, and make sure you turn on that red, press that red button and turn on your subscriptions, okay? And ring the bell so that whenever I drop a video, you will be the first to know. Okay, enough talking, let's see. Let me try the regular ketchup. Oh, this one has a lot of seasoning on it. Look at that. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have a fork because, I don't know. So I figured I'd do a Chicago style, almost Chicago style, because I, I don't have the poppy seed bun. I'm always talking about Chicago, using ingredients that's from Chicago. So let me try to make, imitate one of their famous hot dogs. So let's try it first. Here we go. Mm. Ooh. It's good. That all beef hot dog is good. Mm-hmm. With the mustard and the relish and the tomatoes. Mm. You have to have a pepper with that. Let's try to get another bite. Like I say, it's, whew. Mm, there you go. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's falling apart, guys. These fries are good. I keep showing them to you. I want you to see how good they are. Mm, real good. So what's going on? How was your day? Did you have a good Tuesday? Hump day. You know what happens once hump day gets here. It's like the week is just flying by. Okay. Let's, let me have a drink first. <laughs> All right. Let's try the one with the homemade chili. Let me let you guys get a look at it. Look at that. Mm. Get a bite. Okay, let me go in with this one. Mm -hmm. Guys, that chili is good. Oh my goodness. I did a good job and it was simple. 10 minute prep time, 30 minute cook time. As I said, it didn't call for adding um, garlic and bell pepper, onion powder and garlic powder, but I did as well as my Saison and I think it helped the flavor. Sometimes some of these recipes you get off the internet, they don't believe in seasoning the food. What's wrong with them? Mm. Yes, guys, this is good. This, this chili dog is real good. 
Oh my goodness, it's huge. It's stuffed to capacity. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I know I always say it's good, but it really is. Something quick and easy, but delicious on a Tuesday night. You and your family would enjoy this meal. Trust me. All right, let's go in for the Chicago one more time. It's falling apart on me, guys. I want my tomatoes. It's good. You can tell it's good. It's falling apart. Mm, 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 mm. Definitely good. Indeed. Oh, and I'm getting full. Try to get one more bite in of this one. It's staying together a little bit better than the Chicago. Oops. I'm losing my feeling. Did a lot of napkins for this. Oh boy, that was good. That was good. Mm. Look at that parsley and seasonings. Guys, this was a quick and easy meal. Like I say, about 30 to 35 minutes. I did steam the buns. I forgot to tell you guys that. I steamed the buns. They were nice and warm. And everything was delicious. Again, thank you guys for joining me tonight, Tuesday night. Thank you guys for sharing my video and telling your friends and family about it. I really appreciate it. I couldn't have reached 200 without you and your support. Thanks to all of you. Now, let's roll on to 300, okay? It can be done. All right, guys. Again, thank you for stopping by. And remember, tell everyone, they're always welcome in Philly Phil's Kitchen. Good night. Yeah.